Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of medicine which we are doing from Davidson 24th edition and today's topic is going to be uh, a couple of thyroid dieters which are labeled as transient thyroid dieters transient because they are for a short period of time and then they go away and they can relapse as well again so there are two things that we have to basically be paying attention to the first one is subacute thyroid diuris and it also has a fancy name it's also known as de Quervain's thyroid diuris and medicine is notorious for having fancy names and you know this you know we study medicine so this is kind of something very special that we do and we if simply call it subacute it doesn't sound fancy we have to give some fancy name all the time so Dequervan is the fancy name for subacute thyroid diuris. As you can see, it is going to be inflammation of the thyroid gland because it is thyroid diuris. So inflammation of the thyroid, and it is um, its classical form here. It is going to be a painful uh, type of thyroiditis. It literally is tender. You know, it is one of the very few conditions of thyroid when it is uh, severely painful. So in its classical painful form, subacute thyroiditis is a transient inflammation of the thyroid gland occurring after infection with Coxsackie, mumps, or adenovirus. So this is basically post viral type of inflammation so he post viral or con virus is common hang kuxaki mums and adeno there is pain in the region of thyroid gland which means the neck region which may radiate to the angle of the jaw and ears so this is classical presentation of dequervain thyroiditis and this inflammation and pain it actually gets worsened when the person is eating or drinking swallowing ke doran ya cuffing ya kisi bhi tarah ki neck movement mein pain hota hai yahan par so that is typical presentation that the person in the neck region it will be painful pain will be radiating towards the jaw towards the air and if the person is swallowing something or turning the head around then the pain will aggravate the thyroid is usually palpably, uh, palpably enlarged and tender. So again, these are the signs of inflammation. And systemic upset is also common. So the person also has up to jo mein symptoms, bata raha tha, they were all local symptoms. So they were all symptoms associated with the neck region only. But the person may be upset systematically. Okay, affected patients are usually females who are in uh, their 20s to 40s. Painless transient thyroiditis can also occur after viral infection and in patients underlying autoimmune diseases. So, viral infection ki to humne baat ki hai, but sometimes it can also be uh, painless. Up to kham jo classical uh, thyroiditis dequerin uh, ki baat kar rahe the, that was painful, but there is a painless variant as well. So, you have to be aware of this condition. Ke aisa nahi hai ke hamisha pain hota hai. Sometimes it can be painless situation as well. The condition can be precipitated sometimes by certain drugs such as interferon alpha and lithium. So drugs say exposure, viral infection say exposure and subsequently thyroid key inflammation. Now irrespective of the clinical presentation which means ki regardless of the fact that the patient comes to you with painful thyroid or non-painful thyroid, inflammation in the thyroid gland occurs and is associated with release of colloid and stored thyroid hormones because this is what is stored in the follicular cells is me colloid hota hai or hormones hote hai. so whenever there is inflammation these things will leak out into circulation because the follicular cells are damaged okay as a result t4 and t3 levels are obviously going to be raised for at least four to six weeks until preformed colloid is depleted so the uh, you know preformed enzymes and the colloid that gets into the blood raising the levels of t3 and t4 Thereafter, there is usually a period of hypothyroidism. Now, the reason is that now imagine this is the thyroid gland or your follicular cells. Hain. So, inflammation ki wajah se the follicular cells are damaged and the T3, T4 gets out in the blood. So, what it is in the blood, the levels of T3, T4 goes up. But in the thyroid gland, the follicular cells were damaged. Now, when they were damaged, they will not appropriate T3, T4. Nahi bana and therefore, initially, there will be a rise in the enzymes because of the leakage. And then there will be a fall in the enzymes because the cells are damaged. Okay. Um, and the routine function is restored. It takes another four to six months for the follicular cells to uh, perform their full function. In the thyrotoxic phase, when the levels of the thyroid hormones are high in the blood, the iodine uptake is low because the follicular cells are damaged. Simple stuff. Okay. 
Now, low titer thyroid autoantibodies are also present in the serum and the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, which is a marker for inflammation, is usually raised and there is inflammation in the thyroid gland, so that will be raised anyways. High titer antibodies suggest an underlying autoimmune pathology, otherwise it is going to be low titer of autoantibodies, okay? Now, the pain and systemic upset usually respond to simple measures, simple drugs such as NSAIDs and the pain respond to the treatment with NSAIDs. Occasionally, however, it may be necessary to prescribe prednisolone. So you have to sometimes go on to steroids for a month or so. The thyrotoxicosis is mild and treatment with beta blocker is usually adequate. So you know, thyroid hormones release in blood may because of the damage of the follicular cells, they will lead to thyrotoxicosis and that can be dealt with beta blockers. Anti-thyroid drugs are of no benefit because thyroid hormones synthesis is actually impaired because follicular cell damage is damaged. So, you have false type of hyperthyroidism. That's not because more thyroid hormones are made. That's because more thyroid hormones are released. Okay? Now, careful monitoring of thyroid function and symptoms is required to uh, so that levothyroxine can be prescribed. But anyways, you have so much thyroid hormone released in blood, mein, you have to take care of the patient and monitor the symptoms. Okay? Care must be taken to identify patients presenting with hypothyroidism and uh, uh, which actually presents in the later stages because you have concept yaad hai. if this is your thyroid and the follicular cells are damaged because of inflammation initially there will be hyperthyroidism because of the leakage of the uh, T3, T4 but since the follicular cells have been destroyed later on there will actually be hypothyroidism okay so remember this aksar students confuse hote hain ki uh, subacute ya decurvin thyroiditis mein Hyperthyroidism hota hai ya hypothyroidism hota hai. So initially there is hyperthyroidism, then there is hypothyroidism. Okay, so both conditions happen. And there is a good time frame showing you, uh, you know, what happens with T3 and T4. So you see T3 and T4, initially they are very, very high because at this stage, uh, perhaps the follicular cells are damaged and a lot of T3 and T4 is released into the blood. But then it goes down and the patient becomes hypothyroid. So initially thyrotoxic, then hypothyroid because the cells are now damaged. Or TSH is opposite chal raha hota hai. So usually T3, T4 jab down hai, to TSH high hai. And it takes like 4 to 6 months for the person to become youth thyroid. So very nice diagram there, okay? Right. So all good, all clear about decurvin. Post viral hai, sometimes after some drugs, and it goes away in about 6 months. And then the next form of transient uh, thyroiditis is postpartum. As the name indicates, it is associated with delivery, so postpartum, after delivery. There is sometimes inflammation of thyroid gland. Suppose if this is a lady and the lady is pregnant, during pregnancy, the immune system is all modulated. Sometimes it is inhibited. You know why? Because there is a small little baby which is being produced within the body. So the body's immune system is kind of shut off during uh, or if not completely shut off, partially shut off during pregnancy. So the maternal immune response, which is modified during pregnancy to allow survival of the fetus, is enhanced after the delivery. So once the delivery has happened, the immune system go like a monster. Or the void na powerful This is when um, you know some of the autoantibodies attack the thyroid. About five to ten percent of the females experience thyroid issues after delivery, and those affected are likely to have anti-thyroid peroxidase antibodies early during the pregnancy. So, if you check for these antibodies very early on during the pregnancy, say for example in second month or third month of uh, uh, being pregnant, then you will anticipate that these are the females who have these antibodies positive. They are a chance of becoming, um, you know, a victim of postpartum thyroiditis. However, symptomatic thyrotoxicosis presenting for the first time within 12 months of the childbirth is likely uh, to be due to postpartum thyroiditis and the diagnosis is confirmed by, uh, you know, negative 
और नेग्लिजिबल रेडियो आइसोटॉप सो ये टाइम पीरियड इंपॉर्टेंट है कि डिलीवरी के 12 महीने तक यानी एक साल तक किसी भी वक्त ये अगर थायरोडाइटस होता है दैट कैन बी लेबल्ड एज पोस्टमार्टम अगर आपको ऐसा लग रहा है कि डिलीवरी के सिर्फ दो तीन चार घंटे या दो तीन चार दिन के बाद अगर थायरोडाइटस होगा तो ही उसको पोस्टमार्टम करें ऐसा नहीं है सी ट्वेल्व मंथ्स एंड द क्लिनिकल कोर्स एंड ट्रीटमेंट आर सिमिलर टू दोज ऑफ द पेनलेस सब एक्यूट थायरोड आयरस यानी यू मॉनिटर द पेशेंट पेन नहीं है तो एनसेट नहीं देंगे समटाइम्स यू हैव टू गिव लेव थारेक्सेंट पोस्टमार्टम थायरोडाइटिस टेंड टू रीकर आफ्टर यू नो सब्जिक्वेंट प्रेगनेंसीज में दोबारा हो सकता है सो वंस यू आर अ विक्टम ऑफ पोस्टमार्टम थायरोडाइरस यू आर एट हाई रिस्क ऑफ हैविंग पोस्टमार्टम थायरोडाइरस अगेन और राइट सो प्रेटी सिंपल टॉपिक ट्रांजियन थायरोडाइरस टू कैटेगरीज डी खरवैन एंड पोस्टमार्टम the earlier one is associated with viral infection and this one is associated with obviously pregnancy and this is why it is actually known as postpartum so uh, that's all for today's video i'll see you in another video very soon my name is professor asif qureshi and you are watching dr asif lectures do subscribe the channel